On the 1st of May 2022, the internet woke up to one of the most gruesome headlines in Nigeria history. The brutal killing of Private Gloria Matthew and her fiancé, Linus Audu, two military couple on their way to Imo State for their marriage rights. Pictures and videos of unknown armed men beheading the couple in a bushy area began to circulate. It was torture to the eyes of anyone who saw this video. A horror flick. You won't even see such gruesomeness in a movie. It would take the Nigerian military about a week to respond to this video because it was definitely unbelievable. For days and weeks, everyone wondered whether or not this evil that they were watching with their eyes was real, whether it was recent, and if the victims were truly Private Gloria Matthew and her fiancé Linus Audrey, because we have seen numerous gruesome killing videos like that. Over the years, different videos of such wickedness and gruesomeness have circulated across the internet, and every time we saw these videos, they were used to tell stories that may have happened at a particular place at a particular time. And these videos are always recurrent, they are always reused. Whenever someone wants to make up a, a, a fictional story, they go back to dig these gruesome videos and claim that, oh, this was a girl who went uh, for a hookup in Ghana and this happened. The same video will be used in South Africa to tell another story. That same video will be used in Tanzania to tell another story. And the point is, we get to see multiple kinds of videos depicting such gruesomeness used in so many instances. And whenever experts see these kinds of videos, they tend to analyze the videos, they tend to fact check the videos. And half the time, these gruesome videos are videos that happen somewhere in uh, Brazil or in a uh, war torn Arab nations where there are, you know, wars and um, unrest going on in those countries. And that was basically the case with this video for uh, Private Machi Gloria and her fiancé. We were hoping that this is one of those videos that um, experts would soon come out to tell us, oh, sorry, this video happened in Niger, this video happened in um, Syria, this is not Nigeria, these people are not Nigerians. That was kind of like what a lot of people were hoping for. That was kind of like what we were praying for. We were hoping that in as much as this is real, let there be a chance that it didn't happen in Nigeria and it's not our very own uh, private Gloria Matthew and our fiancé that are in it. We were hoping for some kind of miracle, for someone to come out and tell us uh, it's not true. And of course, some group of people came out to say the video didn't happen in Nigeria and that was kind of like a, a glimpse of hope, except it was later confirmed by the Nigerian military themselves that that incident did really happen and that a group of gunmen had abducted Private Gloria Matthew and her fiancé along with a, a few other people on their way to Imo State and these gunmen killed them and filmed them and distributed the video for the world to see. So this kind of sent shivers down the spines of everyone who was hoping that this would be one of those falsified videos. Now the big question to this tragedy, the big question that many of us want to know is how did it happen? What really happened? Why did this happen? And definitely, where did it happen? So, before we go on, and as usual, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment where you're watching from, and feel free to share the video to your social media platforms. Subscribe, turn on the notification button so whenever there is a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. On the 30th of April 2022, it was said that Gloria and her fiancé Linus Audu were on their way from Lagos State to Imo State for their marriage rights. In the vehicle, supposedly believed to be a Sienna, Gloria's 10-year-old daughter, Linus' uncle, Linus' brother, and Gloria's younger brother, all seven of them were on their way to Imo State for the marriage rights for Linus and um, Gloria. And according to Gloria's sister who spoke to BBC Pigeon, they were all on their way to Oweri that it was somewhere in Onisha, very close to Imo State, that they met a roadblock. The road had been blocked by palm fronts, palm tree branches or palm tree stems, and they saw about two armed men by the roadside who were in charge of the blockage, so it wasn't like uh, an ambush. This sort of gave the feeling of a checkpoint, so it felt like a checkpoint, so that was kind of like what the roadblock looked like. So when they met this roadblock, they felt this is one of those things where they would have to have conversations and the road would be open freely for them to pass. And I think that was what was happening for other um, vehicles going through, to and fro. The armed men will have to see the people in the vehicle and when they see and they are satisfied with whoever they were in the vehicle, they 
will allow you to pass. It's not clear if these men were mounted there for Gloria and her fiancé. Obviously, they weren't from the story given by the family of Gloria. So, spotting Gloria and spotting all the seven people in the vehicle, the armed men ordered them to come down from the vehicle. I guess they wanted to run a search. And this is where things got very sketchy. This point right here, the armed men telling Gloria and her entire family to come down from the vehicle is the point that the story starts to flicker a little bit. So obviously Gloria, like anyone else, would have felt that this roadblock was uh, a checkpoint avenue and these armed men with guns were most likely um, security agents or policemen or army officers and so usually in this kind of situation seeing that she is a soldier of the Nigerian military force it was said that Gloria came down from the vehicle and approached this man directly and she instantly quickly immediately you know introduced herself as a soldier she was like hi uh, I'm, a, I'm a soldier and I'm on my way to my wedding can you let me pass you see this is what a normal person in the force would do this is what people who are in the force people who are in the military if it was a police officer he would use that as an advantage to get by to prevent being searched and that is something that is common amongst the people in the military force once they meet a checkpoint or a place where they would have to be searched all they have to do is show an ID card or introduce themselves and introduce their rank and the road is open for them to pass but this was not the situation this was not the place this was the wrong time this was the wrong people for Gloria to tell she was a soldier and that was not even where the biggest problem began because when Gloria introduced herself to the men that hey I'm a soldier her younger brother who was believed to be you know standing out of the vehicle since they asked all of them to come down immediately shouted at Gloria and then told the armed men that please she is not a soldier don't mind her she's just on her way to the wedding. This is the most chaotic moment you can ever imagine. And I just can't imagine the look on Gloria's face. I can't imagine the look on the armed men's face. I just can't imagine the looks in everyone's face who was present there. Because Gloria telling the people that uh, she was a soldier and the brother from behind yelling at her and telling the people that don't mind her, she's not a soldier, it's just chaotic. I guess the brother understood the situation. I guess the brother saw that these men were not the men that cared for her to be a soldier. I guess the brother knew that these were not the people who would open the barriers and let her pass if she told them uh, she was a soldier. Because these people, she just opened up to were not particularly friendly with the Nigerian military. The Nigerian soldiers are enemies to these groups of people. So it's just like her just telling the people that see I am your enemy, I'm the one you're looking for and that kind of gave it all away. But it was already too late for Gloria's brother to speak for her. It was too late. I, I would have thought this was something this boy would have told Gloria on their way down to Imo State. Since he's knowledgeable about the situation, since he's knowledgeable about the chaos and the rivalry between these unknown men and the Nigerian military, he would have been able to tell um, Gloria that, see, as we are going to Imo State, don't let anyone know you are a soldier, I guess. Because in that moment when Gloria told the army men who she was, I guess that was when it hit him. That was when it occurred to him that, oh, the way it is now in the states there are a group of people who are not particularly fond of the nigeria military they are not friends with the nigeria soldiers they have a history they have a score to settle with the nigeria soldiers because clearly there is a history behind this hatred for the fact that they had to target private gloria all because she was a soldier so that moment was chaotic as it is and it was said the the two armed men soon called their superior and before they knew it uh, a van with two extra uh, armed men came to that particular checkpoint and that was when they were able to identify um, Gloria Linus as men who worked and who served in the Nigerian military and these were their rivals, these were the people that they did not like and so clearly this was a case or this was an opportunity to make example of them or this was a situation where they have to get back at the military one way or another and the fact that Linus was uh, not an man, I guess, the fact that Linus was from the north may have added to the hatred or may have added to the um, case worsening because eventually it was said that the man shot at um, Linus and shot at Linus' uncle and shot at Linus' um, brother. Gloria wasn't shot at at that um, checkpoint. 
So these three men, Linus, um, his uncle and his brother, were said to have been shot at that particular spot in front of Gloria's mother and in front of Gloria's 10-year-old daughter. It was even said that they came to they almost shot Gloria's younger brother, but he wasn't shot. He was allowed to go. Maybe they needed someone to tell the story. And then it was said they also wanted to shoot the 10-year-old girl because they thought the girl was Linus' child. If not for the fact that Gloria's mother told the people that, see, uh, this little girl, this 10-year-old girl is not um, uh, Linus' child. It's Gloria's child from another uh, man and not Linus. And the gunmen hearing that the girl does not have the blood of the army blood, I guess that kind of vindicated her and so the 10 year old girl was spared. Gloria's mother, Gloria's daughter and Gloria's brother were all spared and it was in that moment that the Linus, Linus uncle and Linus brother along with Gloria were taken in the van that the men came with or they were taken in their motorcycle, it's unclear, but they were now taken somewhere else. Eventually the place where they filmed the brutal killing of the Gloria and her husband. Now it's unclear where Gloria and the rest of them were taken to. This is the debate and this is where the problem is coming from I guess on the internet. Whereas Gloria's sister claimed this uh, happened somewhere in Onicha, sources are also saying this happened somewhere in Imo State, in Olu Imo State. These two locations are very contradicting if you ask me. I'm not very conversant with these places if the place in Onicha and Olu in Imo State are sort of close by but the Nigerian army claimed that the killing happened in somewhere in Olu heading to Oweri in Imo State. But in the article that I came across, the sister said they were stopped at Onicha. So I'm guessing the checkpoint happened somewhere in Onicha and them being taken from that point to the place where the video would be filmed might be the Olu area of Imo State. It's unclear and so far no much investigation has been made as to reveal the location and from the last we heard of the story, the family of Audu and Gloria have not yet seen the body of their loved ones. They have not seen their body. I'm guessing the gunmen killed them and buried them in a secret grave somewhere in the in the earth because up to this day they have not recovered the body and nor have they been able to find who did this. So guys, this is a story of how Gloria Matthew and her fiancé Linus Aoudou were cornered at a checkpoint and killed. It's an unfortunate story and it's sad. It's scary. It's something that I was even told not to talk about because of how gruesome it was. And the fact that the people who did this have not been identified is even scarier because it's just a matter of time for who is next, I guess. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Comment where you're watching from and don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell button so whenever there is a new video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you for watching.